In this video, I will derive the vibrational energy of a system that consists of a large number of harmonic oscillators, given its parting function. Assuming the Boltzmann distribution, the total energy of a large number of particles can be expressed as E equals negative N times d L N Q over d beta. E is the total energy, N is the number of particles, Q is the partition function, beta is 1 over kBT. And also, we can express E as N times kBT squared times dL and Q over dt. And what is this Q? Q can be really general. It can be the product of the translation, rotation, vibration and electronic partition functions and it can also be either this translational or rotational or vibrational or electronic partition function. So it depends on what your goal is and today we're trying to get the vibration energy and then we just need to use this vibrational partition function and plug it in here we get the vibration energy. And the total energy is additive, it's the sum of the translational, rotational, vibrational and electronic energies. And usually the first three terms are referring to the kinetic energy of the nuclei and the last term is the energy of the electrons. Now let's look at the vibration energy levels. They are n plus half times h nu. n is the vibrational quantum number and can be from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And then the partition function of the vibration equals the sum of e to the power of negative vibration energy divided by kBT or multiplied by beta. Again, beta is 1 over kBT. Because this uh, negative 1 half h nu beta is the common factor, I take it out of the sum. And then we just need to simplify this. How do we do this? We multiply the sum by e to the power of negative h nu beta, and then we can see that this n becomes n plus 1 after we move this term uh, inside the sum. And then we do variable substitution. We set m equals m plus 1. And this part is just m. And then m is from 1 to infinity. Again, it's because m equals m plus 1. And then we have this uh, sum here. This sum is simply this sum from m equals 0 to infinity without the first term. So what's the first term? You plug in m equals 0 here, the first term is just 1. Therefore, this sum starting from m equals 1 equals this sum starting from m equals 0, just minus 1. And then because m is a dummy variable, I will replace m with n, so we got this expression here. And this expression is exactly the same as this expression, and therefore we can combine these two terms, and then we have the sum of e to the power of negative n h nu beta to be 1 over 1 minus e to the power of negative h nu beta. This is just a mathematical trick to evaluate this uh, uh, series of uh, infinite number of terms. Alright, and then we get the vibrational partition function, which is e to the power of negative half h nu beta over 1 minus e to the power of negative h nu beta. And then we just need to plug this expression into the expression of the vibrational energy. So plug this here, this expression in here. Alright, so we got this, we got this. This looks complicated, but uh, this expression can be dramatically simplified if we uh, look at the very low temperature region and the very high temperature region. So when the temperature is extremely low, uh, kBT is extremely small and beta is extremely large and then h nu times beta approaches infinity and therefore e to the power of negative h nu beta approaches zero. Therefore we have simply just logarithm of e to the power of negative half h nu beta which is simply just negative half h nu beta here. And this is very easy to evaluate. It's just negative half h new and then the vibration energy as 0k is simply 1 half h new times the number of particles. The average vibration energy is the exact vibration energy at this temperature of 0k.
it's just half h nu and this is called the zero point vibration energy so what if the temperature is very high when the temperature is very high beta approaches zero h nu beta approaches zero and by using the uh, Maclaurin expansion e to the power of negative h nu beta equals one minus h nu beta when h nu beta is much smaller than one and when that's the case again we can simplify the denominator here to be h nu beta so now it's h nu beta on the bottom e to the power of negative half h nu beta on top and then we separate these two terms we got these two uh, terms here um, and and then we simplify we take the first derivative of this guy and then we take the first derivative of this guy and then in the end we have n times half h nu plus simply kbt therefore the thermal correction of the vibration energy is kbt on top of this half h nu half h nu is the vibration energy at 0k but at very high temperature we need uh, one additional term which is kbt and uh, uh, you may wonder you know when can we use this approximation how high the temperature should be again whenever this h nu beta is much smaller than one usually if it's uh, 0.1 uh, or 0.05 so if it's less than 0.1 you can use this approximation safely even if uh, h nu beta is uh, 0.2 i mean this approximation is roughly correct it's roughly correct with a uh, uh, maybe roughly 10% error so it's it's not a it's not a big deal 10% error is not such a big deal here but if you if um, you have a uh, uh, h nu beta uh, to be 0.1 or less than 0.1 you'll get more accurate approximation here and then more accurate expression uh, for intermediate temperatures we'll have to tackle this problem again uh, we have to separate these two terms so we're going to just uh, separate the two terms this term will give us uh, one half h nu and this term will uh, show up here uh, also you need to take off you know this negative sign here this negative sign here they cancel and this negative sign and uh, this uh, reciprocal cancel and then we just evaluate this uh, first derivative here uh, we use the chain rule it's going to be this and then we can further simplify this expression we have n times half h nu plus h nu over e to the power of plus h nu beta minus one after some uh, simplification and uh, 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 cancellation again you can tell that uh, when temperature is really low h nu beta approaches infinity and uh, this part approaches infinity and this second term disappears the vibration energy is simply one half h nu times the number of particles when h nu beta approaches zero at very high temperature okay and then we can use the taylor expansion or maclaurin expansion the bottom becomes h nu beta and then h nu over h nu beta is one over beta one over beta is simply kbt again we get this expression for the vibration energy at very high temperature.